What do scientists do when they can't run an experiment? They become theoretical physicists. Their job is to use math and logic to create theories and models that explain how the universe works, even the parts we can't see. Right now, modern theoretical physics is dominated by two massive yet incompatible pillars. On one side, you have general relativity. This is Einstein's math, which explains the big stuff, gravity, planets, stars, and the shape of the cosmos. On the other side, you have quantum mechanics. This explains the small stuff, atoms, photons, and how subatomic particles behave. The biggest problem in physics is that these two pillars mathematically break down when you try to apply them to the same place, like inside a black hole or at the very start of the Big Bang. The ultimate goal of theoretical physics is to find a single, unified mathematical framework, a theory of everything that merges general relativity and quantum mechanics, finally explaining all the known forces in the universe.